What's going on, everybody? My name is Jay Static, and this is the Static Sessions. Today, we're going to be going through one of Gunnar Angelo's brand new songs, Mexico. Produced by Proof, song has been a hit. It was a hit before it even the video even got released. Uh, I think it got leaked as well. So, like, this song has been anticipated, and I got the chance to mix and master the whole thing. I would say about two to three days before it got released, but it was super dope to work on it, especially with Proof and Gunnar and Sandeep and the whole crew. So it was bomb. Let's jump into it, see what he did. So first off, if you don't know the song, you should know the song because the song is a legitimate hit. But let's uh, show you what the song sounds like. Yeah, yeah. proof. Super retro good feel vibe i think proof killed it he's he always kills it with his production and in this case he does kill it with his mixing but in this song i think he seriously killed it with his mixing because he actually let me mix the song it wasn't like sometimes when i get a song i'm like i'm doing it from scratch i'm doing all this stuff from scratch with his stuff it was more so balancing width depth all that kind of stuff is all i was adding Maybe a little bit of controlling here and there, but nothing crazy. So what we're going to do first, jump through each and every single one of the layers, show you guys what he added, and I'll show you what I did at the same time. So let's jump into it. Starting off with the bass line. I love when he added in that whole funky little bass line. He's got this. He's got these uh, little bass slides. I think it only comes in once, actually. Sounds like it was taken from somewhere, but still sounds bomb. A little bass drop. Um, to this, all I did was literally a simple side chain uh, just for the kick and added in a, uh, like a Voice of God, Little Labs, brought out that whole low end. So without it, it sounded like this. With it. might sound like it's excessive but it's not when it gets put in the mix it sounds bomb and then we got the kick over here so i'll show you what the kick sounds like raw and i'll show you what i did to it raw kick and then what i did throw on some dbx 160 and some low pass just gave it that little bit more punch and at the same time rolled off any of that ridiculous lows that were in there which there were so um show you without this eq it's got that little bump. I don't even know where this is. This would be like 17 to or 20 characters. Let's say 20 hertz and below. That's when there was crap in there and just got rid of it and called it a day. That way it doesn't interfere with the baseline as much. And with the whole side chain compression, it sounded really good. That's all I did for that. Nothing crazy. He's got another drum sample at the end. I didn't do anything to this because... It was near the end and it just gave it more of a feel. Yeah, if you don't know where that's from, you can do your research. Got some snares. Nice little crunchy one. One with a little bit more bottom end and it sounds sick. All I did here, throw in some Q3, rolled off anything that was 40-ish hertz and below and then added that crackle, just made it pop through a little bit more top of that we got some all his uh tops i would say so he's got these super cool little bass uh hi-hat groove bomb open hats and we got a little tambourine crash a little cymbal those are his tops and then we also got these shakers in the middle here Adds a little nice little groove to it. And um, all I did was I wanted to, I like the sound of everything. I just wanted to bring it out to the front a little bit more. So I used some Arvox. So without it, you got this. With it. 
just brings it up, especially with the rest of the drums, it brings it right up to the front. Show you what that whole drum kit sounds like. So I don't know if you know I've turned it on and off the, the tops, but without the Arvox, it sounds like it falls in the back a little bit. Just with a little bit of compression, it just sits nicely and tight. So that was bomb. Um, near the end of the song, he did some steel drum work. Now without anything I did, still sounds dope. I just rolled off some of the lows um, just cause it was unnecessary information and then I wanted to control that mid-range just so it doesn't pop out in your ears. Just makes it sound a little bit softer, which is nice. After that, we got the flute in the intro. Uh, if the flute was used in the intro, I actually don't know if it was because I didn't hear the final version that they released. But if there wasn't, and you get to hear the flute that was supposed to be in the intro. Cool little flute that he has in there. Nice little electric guitar. Then he's got a little bit more of electric guitar work. He's got some more electric work over here. Sounds really nice. And then uh, it's got some low end in there, which sounds nice too. I love the, how he adds little elements here and there in the, throughout the entire song. Uh, then we got some roads. That whole riff is crazy. Uh, he's got this little chord loop. Bomb little chord loop. He's got some electric pianos. Let's play from the end. Some nice little electric pianos. This I just added some reverb to because it ended off too early. It sounded like it just came in and went out and he wanted some floatiness to it so that it kept on, you know, it didn't just die out right there and then. That was kind of cool. We got another flute over here. Cool little piece. Uh, Spanish guitar. i oh, sorry, Spanish vocal. Cool little thing that he used as one of his uh, music pieces or interludes, whatever you call it. Uh, we got some strings. And then if we jump over here, got some synth and synth flux. Trumpets, they sound dope. They're honestly so sick. So putting all the music pieces together, you got, let's jump up here and you got this. Such a cool vibe, it was honestly so sick. Got some scratches, it's normal. Got some whistle sounds, sound really nice. Brings in a nice little element there. And then we got some backspins. Those are all your sound effects. He added a couple more sound effects for the music video because it needed it. And sometimes when the video guys do it, it overpowers and they don't know about mixing. So like it overpowers the whole entire song, then the song level ends up going down because the sound effects are too loud, all that kind of stuff. Better just to do it yourself. So 
That's what he did. And we got some car sound effects. And then we got some ocean sound effects. So those come in at these parts. Now, we'll get into the vocal. He killed the vocal. Honestly, completely smashed. The, the whole vocal was properly sounding. So I'll show you guys without anything that I did. Um, only thing I did initially was uh, do some automation. So I'll show you guys that real quick. Um, just this piece over here. So right over here, if you listen to it without it, it goes... And that, it dips down during that part and then with it. It keeps that whole level there the whole time. Yeah, it was added over here too. So without it, pay attention to that part right there. And then you'll see. So without it. It just dips. You can obviously hear that. And then with this. Still dips, but not as noticeable while it's in the song. Now, all I did was, honestly, really simply, let's go into some of the stuff that I did. Nothing crazy, just some minor tweaks. There was some sharpness in the vocal. Got rid of that. Make it sound a little bit softer. Now that we made it sound softer, it kind of brings the vocal in the back, so I brought it back out. Threw on an EQ8 just to see if there was any changes for anything. Then I threw on a de -esser. Kind of sounds cool. Just a little bit of compression, nothing crazy. And that is it. And then I just bumped this back up just so it sounds really nice. Kind of like a makeup gain, if you want to say. Um, after that, oh, I didn't even talk about the proofs tag. So then we got proofs tag, which I like to clean up tag. So without it, it sounds like this. Yeah, yeah. Proof. proof. Sounds cool, sounds muddy though, and it doesn't have that same energy. Simply throw on EQ8, EQ'd out whatever I thought I didn't need. Yeah, yeah, proof. Without it. Yeah, yeah, proof. Yeah, yeah, proof. So you hear the proof a little bit cleaner, it doesn't sound as bassy. Arvox. Yeah, yeah, proof. Back in your face. Some EQ3 just to clean up any of that harshness. Yeah, yeah, proof. Easy, and then some uh, multiband just to flatten things out a little bit more and bring out whatever dynamics I need to. Yeah, yeah, proof. And it sounds bomb. Now we got the left and right doubles. And honestly, I did the same thing with the, the main vocals. I threw them on here. And just to even them out, make them sound the same. So I'll show you without and I'll show you with. Easy enough. Then we got some uh, intro vocals. Just sound a little bit bassy and not as bright. Literally minor little tweaks. That's it. Nothing crazy. And then for all the effects. Easy. Bomb. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sounds sick. Sounds cool. <laughs> Sounds bomb. Some backup vocal effects just for the rest of it. So now the vocals together. Show you real quick. Sound like this. Sounds bomb. Come down to the... So we obviously can't meet with um, any of the people in India. So what I do now is I use Audio Movers Listen To. It's a great way to like listen to uh, like me and Gursidu, even though Gursidu lives here. Same thing. Just if you want to go back and forth between someone, it's easy to just log in, show them your literally your output from your DAW let them listen to it live in their studio. And you guys make the changes as you go. Sick tool. But I'm going to delete that right now. Now, what we did here, mastering is where I spent most of my time on this song because I wanted it to sound bomb. Let's bring up some level shit. 
and you guys will see what it is. So without XLV2, with widens it up a little bit, makes it sound a lot better. No, I didn't get rid of this, but uh, I'll show you without again. Makes it sound wider. Now to clean up things a little bit, I added in a Q3, rolled off everything 20 hertz and below. Um, notched down two of these parts here. So it was one at 2K, one at um, 6,800 hertz, 6.8K. And then uh, I'd added some stereo EQing instead. So it just affected the sides. And on that part, raised it, raised about two and a half or one and a half dB um, at 8K and about one dB at 1.3K. And it made a big difference. So without it, with it, sounds really cool. Now added in some manly um, 12K, did a little high shelf boost. And at 2K, fairly wide notch um, with a boost there too. So without it. Brings out the energy in the song, makes it sound a lot better. I, I personally thought it sounded really good. Um, now, in case there's any harshness, I've talked about this before. This tool, Gersidu showed me, I thought it sounded bomb. And honestly, we both talked about this balance to the Grammy Awards. It sounds sick. So without it, if you want, turn up your headphones wherever you're listening to it. I'm going to play it without. And as I'm getting into it, you'll see me turn it on and you'll hear the smoothness difference. And it's not major, but it's enough that it makes a difference. So without, and then while it's playing, I'm going to turn it on. So just pay attention to my mouse. It just it weirdly glues things together. Like it gets, it's the harsh parts make it sound like it falls apart. This just helps glue it all back together. It sounds dope. Then after that, you know, slam it, make it, make it loud, buddy. So. Right now, we've been sitting at max of my minus 16. And then with this, time to bring it up to that minus four level. Crazy that we have to do that, but. So we got plus seven hard slope, and then we got this plus two. Just at minus eight, and it still sounds really loud, so it sounds good. And that is the entire mix for this song. Honestly, didn't take too long to do, but it's such a dope song that we had to go through it to make sure you guys hear everything. I had a blast working on the songs. I want to thank Gutton and Proof for letting me to work on that song because I thought it was great to work on. Different vibe, different everything. And if you guys enjoyed that, please comment, share, subscribe, click that bell for future notifications. And until next time, see you guys soon. Peace.